Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D Artcore tutorial series. Uh, this series of tutorials, uh, what I will do, I will teach you how to uh, really start using Maya. So whoever uh, never touched Maya or did uh, try it and experienced it uh, for a little bit, um, <clears throat> I do recommend you to start and watching this series in order to get the most of uh, the basic knowledge that you need to know in order to operate it. So at this first part, what I will do, I will basically, at, well, not this uh, particular first part, but uh, the overall parts, what I will uh, do is uh, explain you a little bit of how to move inside the work area, uh, just the basic tools that um, help you to move, um, you know, objects around, and <clears throat> more of um, how to manipulate uh, objects and basically form them into new different shapes. So at this first part what I do want to do is first of all if you already tried and used Maya for a little bit but you still think you didn't hang uh, the out of it I mean like uh, you didn't really understand how to uh, start off so the first thing I will recommend is to open Maya by the way I'm using Maya 2015 and I want you to go over window tab over here <clears throat> go over setting preferences sorry and preferences okay when you see this dialog box what you want to do you want to go over edit restore default settings and from now on basically Maya will reset itself to default settings as it says and there are a few things that Maya doesn't do while you are uh, basically um, selecting this uh, feature. So everything that got to do with tools which we have here or any other tools here it's not always resetting them as well as the main frame of uh, you know features that uh, we have inside other tools here. Anyway we will talk about this later on for, from, for this part of the tutorial what I do want you to know is first of all how to open um, project folder in Maya and how to set it to be uh, the desired project folder. So this is one of the main things that you'll do whenever you will get into Maya. So you're gonna go over file, project window and you will see this nice dialog box here. <clears throat> now what this dialog box means is whenever you hit the new button here you can uh, you know assign a new name to your project folder um, here it says exactly where it's going to store this folder so by default Maya stores it in your documents inside Maya folder inside project folder and following this Maya will also create subfolders as those here that you can see scene assets images source images render data and so on and all those are basically meant for Maya to keep your scene organized and whatever project you're dealing with uh, into those folders as um, you know the programmers are um, set it to be stored there I don't know like any information that comes with your scene particles or I don't know baked uh, textures or whatever everything goes in into the those uh, folders and yeah you have all of those here so you can see so the main folder is the scene folder. This is basically where Maya stores your MB files, your Maya binary files. So whenever you're gonna save a scene, it will save it with the extension of uh, MB, okay, which stands for Maya binary, and this is exactly where this file will be at this folder, okay, which will be inside your folder. So we're gonna create a new, click new, and then give it a new project name. So we call it uh, fresh start okay you want to do this um, you know underscore line I think it's underscore I'm not sure fresh start and you want to click accept now there are additional things here but I, I we ain't gonna you know uh, introduce them let's leave them as they are you're gonna click accept and what this will do basically if I'm gonna go over on my desktop and open my computer um, gonna go over documents and Maya folder here okay you can see inside we have a projects folder so this is exactly where this project will be see first start and as I said the entire 
subfolders inside this folder. So this is uh, where it stores it. Now, if you're going to open Maya again, you can see that you can come over File, and instead project window that we just used, you're going to go over Set Project. And what does this mean is that whenever you want to deal, I don't know, you walk up today and you want to deal with one scene, or uh, at any point at the same day you want to deal with other projects, so you want to set it to the same project that you work with, because this will help you whenever you save file or you want to open uh, some scene file, you can open it um, exactly from that folder. So if I'm going to set my new folder to be fresh start and click set, from now on I can come create a sphere, for instance, okay, here is this uh, the sphere, I'm going to go file, save scene as, and you can see that if I'm going to put this sphere, I'm going to name it sphere, you can see it stores it inside my fresh start scenes, you see? So this is the exactly, um, exactly the folder that we set Maya to work with. So we're going to set it to sphere, again it will save it on scene file, scenes folder, and save as. I'm going to minimize the window once again, and I'm going to come here, or take backwards, again, first start folder inside my projects, and now I'm going to go over scenes, and you can see that the sphere project um, file has been um, stored here. You can see it's a my binary file, you can set it to be any other uh, extension again, it doesn't have to be my binary, you have other options here, my ASCII, or... Um, yeah, I think that these are two, I'm not sure that these are the, you can save it as other files, it really depends on, um, like, if you want to export it or something. Okay, never, let's don't touch it right now, let's just deal with this one. Okay, so this was um, the first uh, part of the tutorial, I'm going to continue on and teach you some more things, but... These are the. This is the first thing that I want to be. Uh, I want you to be aware of because whenever you come into Maya, it's always good to have you know uh, everything set correctly in order for you to work. And um, you know, as as goes for the hierarchy of working, um, I think this is very crucial, and you need to be aware of this. So that's it. This is how we start by creating uh, our own uh, project folder and how we set it and uh, work with it, okay? Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you at the next part. Bye-bye.